if you own an RV, you see this stupid thing here. <laughs> Battery, full, two thirds, one third empty. Is that a measuring cup? Are you kidding me? You're supposed to know those things. <laughs> battery monitor battery monitor <laughs> so I get to watch my husband electrocute himself while he hooks it up but this little guy here will tell me how much percentage we will have of battery left and how long it will last running what we're running at that moment my plan is the battery compartment Is down here. We're gonna mount the shunt right here. Yeah, why is it doing underneath the TV? Right here. We back into Mr. Whoopi's closet. There goes everything. Going out of this thing. If you notice, I did take my ring off. Something you gotta be careful when you're working with batteries. You don't wanna handle the positive and have it arc across your ring and burn it because it will severely burn you. Drilled one hole. I'm only good for one hole anyways. Drilled one hole and I'm uh, gonna bolt this. Hopefully, you got the right size drill. Screw this on. mount this and then I can mark it for the other holes you gotta remember you want B going to the battery P going on to the system Fun part is about working on RV. Tight spacing. Screwing my day away. Yeah. You know the little kid in the tongue? <laughs> Metric speed wrench. Gave up on it. <laughs> it's oh, in there. That case. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> That's okay. When you're fishing wire out, you're at my mercy. I guess I will be. Uh... Oh, surprise! What surprise? Bolt dropped out from the other side. Um, yep, it's way down there. <laughs> okay, so that. We'll have to hook up the negative side of the battery directly to this, which this shunt will tell us how much we're drawing off amperage. Then we go with the rest of the negative to the RV. So we bought a wire to jump from there to there.
we had to unscrew the shunt again just to get that little wire in that little teeny tiny green slot. I thought this part only took about 15 minutes. <laughs> That's what you said. You said well, the hard part was going to be fishing the wire through the wall. Okay, we ran into small difficulties. <laughs> Not my well, fault. We're, we're used to that. Not my fault. They uh, made this thing a lot tougher to put the wire in there. And... It works. Our battery's at 100%, 94 amp hours. We got 30 hours left on the batteries. If all we run is just the light we turned on. Now we turn the light off. And, and it goes up to 35 hours. And it'll keep going up. 39. yoo -hoo! Now the fun part begins. This cord needs to get fished through the wall. And this little monitor is going to get put in a wall way over there. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, we're up to 49 hours. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on down here. Oh, yeah, you want me to step over this. Well, we found a way to do this. Going up to the original wire isn't going to work. So we're going to have to drill a hole from that inside the shoebox there. What was your suggestion? To drill a hole up that way through the go in the box and drill a hole up and just not hit the big power lines the power line that the powers the whole RV. I'd rather move the wire aside and drill down. Drill down? <laughs> that might be a good idea. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we get to drill more holes. He just loves drilling his holes in the RV. Okay. The first year I wouldn't let him put a hole or a nail or anything anywhere. I'm a drilling baby. <laughs> Much. Yeah. Not really. Make sure you don't hit that wire. Oh, you got plenty of room on the wire. You want to did you turn the camera on when you said that? Yeah. Okay. So I got to hear you. Make sure you don't hit that wire. Don't hit that wire. <laughs> We're going to drill into the shoe box. Well, we fit, we're through something. Go look in the shoe box. Look in the shoe too. box and see if I feel a hole. Oh, yeah, it's hot. What? Yes, it's hot. I didn't say touch it. Yes, it's 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 there. shut the door and turn the air on? Nah, I figured I'd lose a little more weight sweating my butt off. <laughs> okay, I'll start shutting windows. I'm not good at twisting and turning. Windows. Then then we can go, I can go around and kill the bugs that yes. have come in. Dakota, you look so happy. <laughs> Reggie is in trouble for licking the couch again. And Winnie's pissed because we're not paying attention to her. Now I'm going to attempt to shove a coat hanger. This battery is 38%. <laughs> Go ahead, you're going to attempt to shove a coat hanger. Now I'm going to shove a coat hanger through the you hole. Get a hole, little tiny hole down here. <laughs> but I think I've seen the opening. Do we have something better than that? How about your fishing pole? You 
really seriously said fishing pole? <laughs> Did you excuse the air conditioner noise, but it got hot. through the bathroom wall. Hmm. Did you go through the wall? No, I didn't go through the wall. Okay. <gasps> Please don't tell me you see light. Yeah, I'm down there. Move. Here, turn off the light, close the door. I don't see any light. <laughs> Chicken. You damn right. And it is six stops away. <laughs> what is that? The fan for the refrigerator. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. <laughs> blinking because it is charging because we're on shore power now we're gonna do an experiment are you gonna turn shore power off nope. all the light. Okay. we are now on battery power Right now. Hmm? Right in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. 12, 13 hours. With all these lights on, plus we're in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay, start. Can you see it? This is the camera. If I get close enough. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, went up to 15 hours. 17 hours. 
up to 20 hours. 20 hours, that's almost a full day. 22, 23. That's plus running the refrigerator. 27. 27 hours for running the refrigerator. 31. 34. 36. 38. That's at 100% though. 39. Oh no, that's 94 watts. Yes, oh yeah, that's, that would. 40. That's 50%. Plus running the refrigerator. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yay! So, and we know where our batteries are at all times. Project done!